Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Jeremy Clement's 2022 Daytona race win, second of his career. Uh, we also had his, actually still have, his 2017 Road America win, which is just so happens to be where they're racing this weekend. So interesting enough, let's go ahead though and get right into it. Here you see Jeremy Clements, the Wawa 250 champion. Champion? Okay, winner. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> August 26th, 2022. Let's go ahead and look at the back. We've got 118 total laps, started ninth on the day, and led three laps. Uh, the, the race ended under caution. It was a wild finish, uh, to say the least. Race win sticker there. Uh, but it involved Austin Hill running out of gas after basically the leaders just slowly crashed themselves all out. And then coming to the restart, uh, yeah, Austin Hill runs out of gas, and it was a bunch of back markers that had fuel and uh, gave it a run. And uh, yeah, Jeremy Clemens was one of those that came out on top. There was a potential for Timmy Hill and a whole bunch of different winners. It was a wild race from that standpoint. Uh, not our not the best look for our sport to have uh, everyone crash but it was, you know, is what it is. Uh, so here's our 2022 race winning box. Uh, you know, standard artwork, same for everybody. There you can see the render of the car. And then we go over here. You see the production number of 540. So this one is offered in two versions, autographed and non-autographed. I only get the standard versions. Unless somebody orders the autographed, I'll get it in for them. But once, uh, once they come out, um, I will try to get one autograph if it's in stock, but that that's for the website. So anyway, let's go ahead and review it. So here you can see we've got um, convenience one or stop one convenience store. I think is how you say it. I'm not even sure. Let me look at the let me look at the box again. Stop. One stop. There we go. So <laughs> one stop convenience store. There we go. That makes more sense now. Why I had, why it took me that long? I don't know. Uh, we got a little bit of a mark here on the left front. You can see a mark there by the Simpson logo. Uh, we do get foil numbers. I think this is the first Xfinity car to have these uh, shiny foil numbers on them. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see we got Jeremy Clements up there. We've got Whitetail's uh, smokeless. I'm guessing that's for some uh, smokers. Um, we got AllSouthElectric.com. You can see um, just a lot of sponsors. Look at these. I mean, he has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sponsors back here in this section. Three more up top. Like um, they may not get the big uh, one big money sponsor to pay all the bills, but man, when they get a sponsor on here, they they fill up that car. They are using every bit of space they can. Uh, we got also All South Electric conduct. Inc. Uh, you can see the back bumper has a couple of marks on it because it is Daytona. They are bumping and banging the whole time. Uh, DIN number is 104. We got All South Electric and we also got Clemens on the rear window. Go back up to the roof. We do have no foil number up here. We got the bright uh, blue rooftop with the white number 51. Xfinity and Clemens on the banner here. Purple logo. I mean, let's be real. The purple emblem is kind of annoying in my opinion. I wish it was just a um, black color because it kind of sticks out. But I know a lot of people do like it. So you can see on the right side, the Goodyear lettering rubbed off the right front. Got a little bit of contact here, uh, right there on that fender. Uh, again, we do get that foil number here. So we do have that nice, you know, with, it's hard to tell. It looks white because of it reflecting off it down here. But you can see as I tip it around, uh, it is the foil color number. So um, overall, really, really good looking car. You can see here on the nose, this is where they put that uh, tape across the nose right there where it says Camaro. That is so that the rear bumpers and front bumpers can kind of slide back and forth on each other without just catching and hooking all the time. Uh, you can see a little uh, a little bit of grass, I think, up there in the air intake, uh, kind of clogging the grill area. Um, but yeah, overall, it's a pretty clean race win. I mean, it is Daytona, so you don't generally get super beat up cars. But I say that, and then I remember we've had a lot of beat up Daytona cars because cars get in crashes, fix them, and come back and win. So uh, there's our engine detail there. But, um, yeah, overall, the car doesn't have a ton of detail, but it is cool to get a Jeremy Clemens car because uh, this is one of those teams that don't get anything offered very often. I would love to see NASCAR, or not even NASCAR, I'd love to see these smaller teams kind of band together um, with one of the companies or one of the people that pull those uh, merch trailers. Um, you know, I would love to have an Xfinity Series merch trailer that just, um, you know, you go up to it and you get Parker Kligerman, you get Jeremy Clemens, uh, you can get Austin Hill, Sheldon Creed. Those guys, I think they have a little bit in the RCR trailer, but, uh, you know, being able to get Brett Moffitt and uh, Cole Custer and just all the colleague teams, just being able to have a trailer that's designated to Xfinity as a series or a couple trailers. But um, I don't know. I, I would love to see more Xfinity guys being able to put their merch out there because like Jeremy Clements, you know, they get all these sponsors and then they never can make anything or just they tend not to. But for them to be able to just get a minimum number and then uh, have them as a at track exclusive, I think would be a very good way to uh, to market that and potentially um, 
you know, I, I think they would do rather well with it. So uh, anyway, guys, that will pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're looking for this car, you can find it at rasdiecast.com. Also, head over to the Facebook page for both this one, uh, the Race Craze and RAS page, and give them a thumbs up there and a follow if you haven't already. Um, Facebook hacked. Got to rebuild the page. Same thing I've said in the last bunch of videos. So I'm going to keep plugging it for another few weeks, and then I'll, I'll chill off it. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze, and we will see you in the next DieCast Review.